Welcome to section 17 of the viruses. This is an overview figure showing all the viruses you need to know for step one. In this section, we will be talking about yellow fever, or the yellow fever virus, which is right here. Our yellow fever story takes place near a lake. You can see the lake over here to the right. Notice that pretty rainbow kissing the surface of the lake? That indicates that yellow fever is caused by a positive sense RNA virus. In previous videos, we've explained that rainbows give most of us this positive feeling. So for that reason, we like to use rainbows to represent positive sense viruses. So positive rainbow for positive sense. As pretty as that is, let's get to the actual story. Look at this man wearing all that yellow. He even has a yellow hat. This yellow obsessed man represents that this is yellow fever. So yellow clothes for yellow fever virus. Now why is it called yellow fever? It's because it causes jaundice or yellowing of the skin. So yellow clothes stands for yellow fever virus and jaundice. Think of them together. For example, if you come across a question about yellow fever virus, think about the patient having yellow skin or jaundice skin as well. As you can clearly see, this man is running frantically. He's actually been running for a long time now, even to the point of exhaustion. See all that sweat on him? This indicates the sweating that accompanies infection with yellow fever virus and the malaise and flu-like symptoms in general. So again, the sweating and exhausted man who's clearly uncomfortable now stands for the sweating and malaise that patients with yellow fever get. Now, who is he running toward? It's his poor monkey who has been imprisoned. Poor little guy. Notice these awesome vertical lines. These lines are created by the bars of the cage the chimp is trapped in. These lines indicate that yellow fever is a linear virus. So several lines of bars for linear virus. Now this man back here is the one who imprisoned the poor monkey. He is trying to attract people to a little animal exhibit of his. With that smirk on his face, he even looks like the villain of the story. Look at that rich person cane he holds. He even has a rich person gem on top of it. The gem is shaped like an icosahedron. This indicates that yellow fever has an icosahedron shaped capsid. So big icosahedron gem on the top of this cane stands for icosahedron capsid. Did you notice that needle stuck in the monkey's arm? Well, that's to make sure the monkey doesn't transmit infections to any of the paying customers. You can't have all your customers getting sick from being around your main attraction. That's bad for business. Anyways, this needle represents the vaccine available for yellow fever, and it's a live vaccine. The fact that the vaccine is live is represented by that sign back there by the villain, which says live monkey. So again, live monkey sign and the needle in the monkey's arm will help you remember that the vaccine for yellow fever virus is live. Remember that pretty lake off to the right? Well, it's a pretty stagnant lake, so it's the perfect place for mosquitoes to lay their eggs. You can see the mosquitoes swarm the poor chimp. This indicates that yellow fever is transmitted through mosquitoes, specifically the Aedes mosquito. Now, transmission via mosquitoes means that the virus is arthropod-borne. We like to use the Spanish word for tree, arbol, to represent arboviruses. And arbo is simply AR from arthropod and BO from born. So arthropod-borne viruses. So again, arbol sign on the tree represents arbovirus. Now, central to the story is the fact that this is a monkey that the human is trying to save. Why a monkey of all things to use in this story? Well, monkeys, just like humans, are reservoirs for yellow fever virus. So these little mosquitoes can actually come suck the blood of the monkey reservoir and then transmit it to all the humans who come to see him. So again, the human running toward the monkey being bitten by mosquitoes represents the fact that monkeys and humans are reservoirs for yellow fever virus. As the yellow-dressed man scampered toward his pet monkey, he accidentally knocked over a nearby heating lamp. Since lamps increase the temperature of the area surrounding it, we like to use heat lamps to represent fevers. This lamp actually caught the whole area on fire. You can see the flames ascending. These high-reaching flames indicates that the fevers here are high. So again, this fallen heat lamp causing a high-reaching fire will help you remember that yellow fever virus causes high fevers. Now the fire has spooked some of the nearby animals, including this cow over here. The cow has a big black spot on it, and it looks like a liver. So this liver cow running from the fire represents liver inflammation, better known as hepatitis. It's this hepatitis that causes the jaundice skin in the first place. So when you think of the cow with the liver spot running from the fire, think about hepatitis. I'm sure you've noticed that this running scared cow really wants to get out of the area. You can see it just plow through this person who stood in his way, pounding his back in. This blow to the back represents the back pain that can accompany yellow fever infections. So again, hit in the back for back pain. Now notice this guy over here drinking from the lake. Not a super good idea. Most of us know you shouldn't go around drinking water from lakes, especially lakes that are stagnant enough to house mosquito nests like this one. Anyways, he's drinking from the cup, and naturally, the water tastes like mosquito poo. This will help you remember that yellow fever virus has a bad flavor. So, bad flavor of the water for flavivirus. In fact, the flavor is so bad that he's seen throwing up, vomiting right back into the lake. Super gross. Strangely enough, sometimes the vomit can even be black. Now that's not super important. 
but just remember that this man is vomiting, which will help you remember that yellow fever can cause vomiting. So vomiting from lake water for vomiting in yellow fever. Did you notice the red warm color scheme of the image? This indicates that yellow fever virus is an RNA virus. So red warm colors for RNA virus. Now that we've covered all the material in the image, let's wrap up with a question. A 12 year old girl is brought to the physician due to orange skin. Her mother states that the family recently returned from a trip to Brazil. The patient denies receiving any vaccinations prior to the trip. Her temperature is 39.4 Celsius, or 102.9 Fahrenheit. Physical examination confirms jaundiced skin and tenderness of the right upper quadrant of her abdomen. Blood results indicate elevated AST and ALT. PCR is performed and reveals the presence of an RNA arbovirus with a linear genome. The physician reports that the patient likely acquired a flavivirus that is endemic to South America and Africa, which of the following is not true regarding the presumed illness. A. The infection may have been prevented with a live vaccine prior to travel. B. The virus does not carry its own RNA polymerase. C. Mosquito repellent and long clothing may have prevented infection. Or D. The virus has ribonucleotides in an icosahedral configuration. Hopefully you notice that this describes yellow fever virus. She has a fever. There is evidence of hepatitis with her orange skin, right upper quadrant pain, and elevated transaminases. Additionally, the PCR performed indicates an RNA virus with a linear genome. And of course, the physician indicates that this is likely a flavivirus. So which of the following is not true? This is choice D. This one is not true. The virus has ribonucleotides in an icosahedral configuration. You may have thought about the villain with that icosahedron-shaped gem on the top of his cane. Remember though, this refers to the shape of the capsid, not the configuration of the nuclear material itself. The ribonucleotides, the genetic material, is in a linear configuration. Now answer choices A through C are all true regarding yellow fever virus. So we didn't choose choice A because the infection with yellow fever virus can be prevented with a live vaccine. So this is a true statement and we were looking for a fault statement. Answer choice B is wrong because this describes a positive sense virus. Again, this is a true statement regarding yellow fever virus. And finally, answer choice C is wrong because one may be able to prevent infection if one prevents mosquito bites. Remember, it's mosquitoes that transmit the infection. And that's everything you need to know about yellow fever virus.